we are testing if I am in shot. Let me know if I'm in shot because I cannot see myself. I am using my back camera and I hope my back camera is doing what it has to do. Right, that was just a test. Let's get into it. <laughs> this is another shot. I pulled it up a little higher to see if my entire bun that I did myself is in shot. Now, let me tell you something about this content creation stuff. It ain't easy because no one is there to tell you, Dashi, move to the side. Dashi. <laughs> Guys, know that I'm just testing. <sighs> Hi, guys. <laughs> I have not done this in a while. Hello, guys. Welcome back to another story time. even know how to act anymore because i'm so used to taking you guys on vlogs that i've actually forgotten how to do story times like i did two takes um just because i can't find my tripod i can't find my tripod the light is making a noise i can't find my in my you know i got a mic so like the the part that you put on your phone i can't find it so we can't even use the mic oh, we got to the AV. anyways you like my hair you're never gonna see it again so yeah I am going to get my hair braided tomorrow and I know for a fact if I do not record this video today there will not be a tomorrow because my life is a movie and I am winning a movie and if you get it then you know what it's about anyways hi guys welcome back to another video what do you have to drink but before we do that I want you to go get a mirror get a spilly Get a reflection and let's do an exercise. Okay, I'll give you two seconds. All right, look yourself in that mirror and say, I like stories because you and me and everybody, we love stories, my dear. We live for stories, and you guys are very much harassingly harassing me for the story time of when I even forgot. It's say I need to remember the character names. Let me quickly go back to the video. I need to remember the character names before I expose people. I'm coming. remember this is not my story this is someone else's story i am just gonna speak the story in first verse in first voice because you guys said you liked when i personalized the story okay i remember the character names it was grave main characters okay jacob and anna anyways what do you have to drink my darling what do you have to drink? Hmm? You're supposed to be doing your job. But instead of doing your job, you're listening to stories. Hmm? Are you not ashamed? Are you not embarrassed? But since we are here to be legalized, what do you have to drink? Hmm? Omer. Hmm? Or Jusa. Nando Birara. Ombike, my darling. It's also okay. Today I'm having Wara. Because my skin, I think we ho we need a whole video about how my skin has been misbehaving. Guys, my skin is going through a midlife crisis. My skin looks like my bank account. It is broken. I don't know what's going on. I have breakouts on this side, all the way down the chin, on my forehead. We thank God for makeup because we can hide all of it. Just like how we hide our men okay you must hide your man the way you hide your pimples okay sweetie <laughs> okay let's get into it now we left the story off at me leaving my man's house getting on the bus with not even 50 cent for the toilet not even one dollar in case i need to edit nine dollars for a taxi mm -mm. just a kiss goodbye from my boy that almost got me beaten but you know he said it was 
his friends people most so i believe my man anna and i are on that bus on hang four and two baba four and two we go back to school because obviously it's a sunday monday monday i don't know where i go school uh, life must life must can happening because it's not supposed to be a stop because of the boy we go back to bendo kihi hahas and i think at this point um let's say it is around april i went to my boy's place in april the year is yearing guys my man is behaving because i'm not seeing texts i'm not supposed to see i'm not receiving calls i'm not receiving death threats it's just me and my man now funny thing is that time uh, I, I wasn't on social media i wasn't on social media because i think i didn't i wasn't interested and i had a tamagotchi for a long time and when i had a smartphone i wasn't like interested interested in social media because i was already used to my private life so every wednesday my man jacob would always post me oh woman crush hey it was that season of woman crush now my friends would always be like no did you see the picture he posted who told me he posted just today who told me who every wednesday i was on his instagram and i didn't know in fact i didn't even think it was as deep as they made it seem because for me i was just like okay he posted me but only later when i understood the power of social media i understood kucha hey he's putting me out in the world uh so yeah every wednesday he would post me and then there was a time he came to my place and he was like no babe um let me activate your instagram and then he you know when i got a new phone almost and then he makes and then he watched and then profile picture and then what and then oh then we follow people sharp um again i wasn't as active on it because i didn't understand it so most of my social life was on whatsapp sharp um then this graduation season comes so let's assume no guys i have the dates wrong let's us okay graduation comes now i'm not sure okay graduation comes so you know you know always has like graduations in the beginning of the year and towards the end of the year right so these graduations are towards the end of the year me and my boy um now the difference between me and him is for me i grew up in Venduk. guys this is my hood i can look at Katutura like this with my eyes closed and I know this is Shandu Balor. This is single quarters. I I I I live in Benduk. I was born here, varsity, high school, unless moments, heartbreaks, all of them happened in Winduk. So I know it like the palm of my hand, which I don't really know, but I know it like like the way I know stories. That's how I know Venduk. Sure. Um so everyone in Venduk knew me. Everyone knew that, you know, that great girl. And I used to chew with very fine girls. My girls were like cute. My friends, they were hot. So everybody used me to get to my friends. Not that I wasn't cute. I was so cute. I was so really cute, actually. Mm, I was really cute. But I think because everyone knew I was dating Jacob, they weren't like interested, interested in me. So they were like, okay, you know, Anna, fair blue oh guys my Afrikaans oh I did it for 12 years how oh anyways magna magna I was that girl so everybody knew me and I kind of not that I knew them but I it's, it's like you see someone and you know they are from you know Katutura and I was I grew up in Katutura so I knew oh this is my hood Chandabala hey Chandabala Sipense hey wala wala you get that vibe so um yeah uh, 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 graduation season comes and my man wants us to go to his cousin's graduation party and i'm like yeah sure so there were so many graduations happening guys there were so many graduation parties happening so we were literally graduation party hopping from one to another went to about four then we landed at his cousins but the other three i kind of knew the people so when we get there they're like hey hola, hola, you know and he was like mara so People know you. So when I'm in Kulfontein, so he was calculating. He was trying to find X and Y. But I, and I don't know why men feel insecure at the fact that we are popular. I really don't know why. But I'm assuming he thought me and him were playing the same hmm, game. We were on Jerry Springer show, Cheetahs. 
we're there bye bye but i wasn't doing what he was doing i i think it's just that that thing of people knowing me from campus or people knowing me through other people people knowing me through anna that stuff sharp so uh we moved all the way till we landed at his cousin's party at his cousin's party it was all chilled but for me i was a bit uncomfortable because now this guy is chilling with his relatives and he's at his aunt's house so he's all over the place and i'm just sitting there like you get so i was bored then one of his friends one of his brothers come to me and he sits and when i tell you men are trash for free well except my man but men are trash ah! men are trash this guy is a friend to jacob but he let's call him white because my shoelaces are white and it's like right here white came to sit next to me to keep me company most i i looked at it as he saw me i was bored i'm his friend's girl i was bored so let me talk to this this d so he sits next to me and he's like oh hey where you from what's your name you're so cute i'm like oh thank you so much um oh so um you know Nate, my friend doesn't deserve you he's even cheating on you and he's what you i can make life so much this guy is making on me now i'm like but his friend is sitting there and his friend was obviously looking at what was going on but i don't think he thought i don't think he knew his friend was trashed like that so he didn't come save me but he was there telling me that yeah my man is cheating on me he's not treating me right what 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 i i deserve better and uh 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 and uh 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 so sharp i'm just taking the conversation because honestly mina i love my man until death till hey do us a part because why must i listen to this white guy talking to me about my boy you get sharp um it's time to leave uh jacob is like yeah guys let's get let's go to feroz and we're like okay cool most because the vibe was it was so we're like okay sharp let's go to another location now my boy used to drive you know when those boys that work in the big companies drive their things but their rooms are like anyways he drove an expensive car so we are, we're walking outside so it's him it's jacob and his cousin who we went to and his cousin's friends and it's white still talking to me about rubbish but it's me and white um walking towards the car now jacob's cousin's friend this other girl runs to the door of the passenger seat and then she opens the door and jacob is looking at her like what are you doing and she's like because i don't think she knew because guys the way this thing was set up uh, is when i walked in with jacob people just assumed oh it's his friend because at no point did he come claim me proper proper i deserve the world which i did anyways um yeah so i don't think people really read the room like that and also i was walking out with white and not with jacob so the math was not my thing so i wasn't surprised at the fact that this girl walked to the passenger seat and then he would he just went out of character this guy is quiet huh? out of character yeah what are you doing and she's like uh i just wanted to sit on the passengers and she's like no my girlfriend is gonna sit on us no get out of my car uh -uh. and then i go to jacob and i'm like oh baby what is what is it haven't you done enough i mean what is it <laughs> then um he's like no how can she come to the front seat when she knows i'm with my girl and she was like i didn't even know she was your girl and i was like guys it's not much of a big deal no you can just sit at the back with white because white didn't want to take his car because he just felt like why must we all drive like we're you know let's just go with one car sharp i sit at the passenger seat um white sits at the back with uh, uh, uh his cousin with with jacob's cousin so it's white jacob's cousin uh, uh and the girl that wanted to take the front seat and then jacob and me Shop. we're driving to pharaoh's he says he stops the car out of nowhere claim ate me the guy's driving he said like get out of my car i never can't get out of my car telling the girl 
and then white is like huh ah, man jacob what but what can't and oh yo yo maybe i should stop speaking afrikaans sexually i should stop speaking afrikaans because it's not working for me it's actually working against me anyway then uh, uh white is like like what's going on and he's like no she must get out of my car and i'm like no babe now you're just getting out of hand like it's it's not even that deep Mboli, that the one was fighting demons at the fact that i am popular in Windhoek. So I don't understand why this poor girl was catching fires that I was supposed to catch. Then White comes in down and says, no, it's really not a big deal. Then let's just go back so I get my car. Then I can drive with her if that's the if that's the deal. So he stops. Uh, White gets out. She also gets out. We go get uh, White's car. Then we drive to Pharaoh's. As we're in Pharaoh's, it's, I think we're there for like 20 minutes. And Jacob, you could tell he was in a bad mood, but I didn't understand why. I, I just, I was even, I was even confused that why this man is trying to, confuse the whole situation and make it look like there is something in fault when i know i did not do anything wrong 20 minutes later he's like no um i'm not feeling the vibe and i'm like oh okay and then he's like yeah let, 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 let's let's just go ah, then i'm like okay um while we go can we at least get kfc because i'm hungry because at this point guys it's like what almost midnight we get in the car it's so it's me jacob and his cousin the 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 the, the cousin here from the party so we go as we drive we go to we get to kfc and jacob starts to and he notices that he doesn't have his wallet and it's not that he was deliberately trying to make me pay because he didn't know i had money also i'm a student where am i supposed to get the money from anyways um i think it was just a matter of he really left his wallet i think but now that i think about this man no i don't the myth is not my thing because when I heard the story, I'm like, mm, if you didn't already give you 50 cents for a toilet, if you want to pee, it's a man that will buy you KFC. Anyways, get to KFC. And I had like a hundred bucks in my pocket because I don't even know I had a hundred bucks in my pocket, honestly. So we get to the drive through That time life was cheap. A, a Twister was $15. Well, not exactly, but yeah. We get there, I order like a twister, he orders streetwise, what, 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 I pay sharp. As we get to like, as we're going to the collecting, I call uh, uh, Anna and I'm like, because Jacob wants to go, and me, I still want to be in the streets, huh? me, I still want to be in the streets, so I'm making my plans. So I call Anna, I'm like, um, Anna, um, Oribe, and she's like, no, uh, ah, we're this side of what, 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 the hamas, the fufus, the fufus. Uh, but she was with her family, so I couldn't go there, sharp. Then I call uh, another friend of mine. Let's call her Blazer. <laughs> My cupboard is open. Let's call her Blazer. So I call Blazer, but her phone is going, it's, it, like her phone is on on. And then I'm like, ah, okay. And that time, ma, my phone uh, had died. So I used uh, Jacob's phone. And I knew, so so Blazer had a brother. So I called the brother to look for most Blazer. So I called the brother. And I call, I dial, I call the brother. And I'm like, hey. And Jacob, but I could hear that it's a guy. So I was like, hi, uh, hi, brother. I'm looking for Blazer. And he's like, no, oh, Blazer, oh, go go fashion bar. And then, and then uh, uh, I'm like, okay, cool. I'll come, I'll, I'll meet you guys there. I hang up, I give the phone back. As I give the phone back, we get our food and she. So as we're exiting the KFC here by Vika uh, service, he says, get out of my motor vehicle. Get out of my motor vehicle. I said, ah, what did I do? So I didn't even fight this guy because clearly he was fighting his demons. I was just worried that how am I going to get home? Because I just used the money I could have used for taxi. But because I'm from a tribe that is obscene Muran, I got out of the car, slammed the door, left the case that I bought with my money. That was the door like this. And then his cousin was like, I oh, know. Uh, uh. So he's trying to reprimand him, like, yeah, okay, no, no, we even bought her, she even bought for us, see, then what did okay, no, no, okay, no, no, okay, no, okay, no. And then he's like, oh, yeah, no, get in the car. And because I knew Kucha, there is two things. Either I walk to you now, <coughs> <coughs> even my cough knows that that's not going to happen, that's why I cough. Either I walk to you now, which is not going to happen because it's far, or 
I walk to you now because my phone is off and that's not gonna happen. So I open the door like the shameless girl that I am and I got inside. And then he's like, yeah, why would you, how, how dare you call another man with my phone? You're even trying to go to another man so that they, mm, 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 so that they, mm, 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 so that they, mm, mm, mm. So he was disrespected at the fact that I called a man. But this man, I just called him because I was looking for my friend. It's not because of anything. Sharp. I tell him that. that no, I was just looking for blazer. That's why I called brother. It's like, no, it's still disrespectful. Who do you think you are? Little thing and no credit that I am gay. Or a or a or a hooey. Sharp. We back again. Then we get to, you guys remember the service station that used to have Nando's? Um, it's opposite Nictus. He stops again. Hmm? Get out of my luxury car. I said, ah. again? You Guys, I honestly feel like Jacob was high on his emotions. And I think he was just an insecure mother panther that was trying to project his feelings on me because he was worried about the things that I'm doing when he is not in the country of the city of Namibia. Like, because I don't understand why. Okay, sure, people know me. Hey, isn't that playing to your advantage that maybe you can ask people about me or ask who I'm dating if that's so much of a big deal? But I don't know. I, I guess he, like I said, I guess he was dealing with his own things and I don't know, sure. Me again, the place is far from you now. So I get out of the car because I'm stubborn and because, listen, I'm not going to beg you for your car. But I also know, Kucha, I'm hoping that you'll tell me to come back in the car because I cannot walk from here. And then his cousin again, like, it brings him back to his senses and um, uh, he's like, yeah, I'll come in the car. And honestly, guys, I felt like an orphan. Shame. I actually felt like an orphan. Because how do you, I know, I understand I don't have a car. I understand I don't have a car. But to make me get out of your car twice, twice. How? I should have learned from that first girl that was going to happen to me. Now I'm defending her, not knowing that it was going to happen to me. And then we drive. As we're driving, as we're approaching you now, I'm now calculating. So there's a bridge. They're here by Academia Secondary. There's a, a bridge most that you, people walk to cross over to go to the school. Now, under that bridge, I decide to also throw a tantrum because I know I'm almost close to campus. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, how dare you? You what? I'm now also making the steering wheel. Uh -uh. I'm like, the what? And then I said, open this car. Open this car. I'm getting out of your car. But it's because I knew Kucha. At least this, I, at least I can walk from here because the end of campus is just, you know. So he, he, I, I think he was slowing down. So I opened the car and I jump out. You know, like the movies, my dear. This white people must stop influencing us all because it's actually very dangerous to jump out of a moving vehicle. I jump out of the car. Um, I'm there just walking. So he's going this way and it's a, it's a two lane most and then there's a two lane on the side. Now, because I don't want to come and walk on the side that he's on, I cross over to the other side. I am crossing over. I, guys, I could have been stepped by a person I don't even know. But I also felt safe at the fact that he was driving. Like, as I'm walking, he's also driving. Then eventually, his cousin, I think he stops the car. And then I'm walking almost. So I'm like, are they behind me? I'm like, are they, are they still? Because I must don't look behind. So I'm like, are they still? Maybe he's going to stop. And then he, he gets. So he he, get, he got out of the car. And then he, come, he came to the other side. And then his cousin was driving his car on the other side. And then because I'm tiny, he takes me. He picks me up. He puts me here. And then I'm like, yeah, leave me alone, leave me alone. And then we, we as we're getting to, to campus, people are looking because it's the time also where people are coming back from the streets. So they are just looking at us like toxic people be like, and yeah, leave me alone, leave me alone. And then he drops me by the gate, uh, uh, puts me down. And I'm like, yeah, I don't want to be in this relationship anymore. And then he's like, no i just feel so disrespected at the fact that people know you it means you're out there in the streets talking to other men and you're even talking to my bra what were you guys even talking about and i'm like first of all your bra was hitting on me and if there's someone you need to confront it's your bra not me even if i'm wearing a bra right now i'm just kidding 
I'm watching too much of the podcast to become a soul penzuka. Anyways, um, yeah, and now his friend is shouting because now uh, uh, Jacob is walking back to his car and he's like, "Yeah, hey, Greg, you're twisted." <laughs> And I'm just looking at this guy embarrassing me of a, like a twister. You're calling me back for a twister. I go back. I take that twister. I nyangula it. I throw it away. And I'm like, is that why you called me? And then he's like, no. I don't know why are you guys so dramatic. And I just walk away, my dear. So as I'm walking to the hostel, as I'm walking back to the hostel, I'm really hoping Jacob follows me. But he didn't. So he drove out and he left. And I went to my room. This is around maybe one, two... Mm. at around three i don't even know why i was awake i think it was hunger because i was now thinking about that twister that i threw away that guys sometimes i feel like anger ne? anger is a very stupid emotion because why the hell did i throw away my twister when i knew for a fact i did not have anything to eat in my fridge i literally didn't have anything to eat in my fridge yet i nyangulat my twister and i threw it away then around three there's a knock on my door And I'm like, man, a three. So I'm like, maybe it's just this people coming back from their chills and they're trying to be funny. So I, I don't respond to the to the knock because I'm also scared most because I'm alone in the room. Another knock again. Ah. Then I'm like, man, who is it? Mm-mm. Who's there? Mm-mm. Who are you? Mm-mm. No one is responding. Then me also, I'm quiet most because why must I answer to a knock that is not responding to me? Minutes later, I get a phone call from Blazer. And she's like, no, Jimmy, why are you not opening the door? Why are you not unlocking the door? It's me by the door knocking. And I'm like, oh, now why are you not talking, Kucha? Oh, we already called Vero. So I hang up. I go to the door. I, it's most Blazer. I unlock the door. Jacob walks in, locks the door, takes the door, the key out of the lock, puts it in his pocket. And he's like, baby. And I'm like, how did you get because like at that point uh, uh um when you don't live in the hostel you can't almost get into the hostel because you need a student card so i don't know how he got his way in i was not expecting jacob to come into that room and he comes and he's like yeah i just felt so disrespected at the fact that you have the audacity to tell me that my friend is after you and you entertained him you were even there laughing and i didn't even know why you guys were laughing and you are there telling me that yeah people know you so i must i must, I must research about you but the fact that people know you is because no, I don't like my girl to ah. this guy is making me feel bad at the fact that I grew up in Winduk and people know me because I grew up here so I'm like ah. I'm sorry I'm actually sorry if knowing people yo guys like why was I even apologizing in the first place I was like, no, I'm so sorry, babe. I didn't even know you felt that way. Uh, um, it's, I'm not doing anything. You can even go through my phone. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> then he's like, no, babe, it's fine. Ugh, it's fine. I just didn't appreciate the disrespect. Then I gave my band a huggy and I would give him a kissy. But because he was drunk and I was tired, we just fell asleep. We just cuddled and fell asleep. Sharp. Uh, the woman crush Wednesday lifestyle continued until so I told you guys it was towards the end of the year right and towards the end of the year is towards my birthday and as we're heading towards my birthday a day before my best day he posts another gender and captions the gender S. Oh, now I want you guys in the comments to tell me what you guys think S O means. Put it down, please. Please, please, please. Right now, before I even tell you what it is, please put down what you think S O means. Sharp. Post another girl. And then I get a phone call from Blazer and she's like, show me. And I'm like, hey, are you not on Instagram? Did you not see what was posted? And I said, no, what was posted? Not your man posting another gee. And I said, another what? Yeah, he posted another girl and he captioned it S slash O. And I said, ah, another girl? S 
slash o and at the time i don't even know what s slash o means honestly i i i i even thought it was sophia the the official i don't even know what it meant uh, uh, so I'm like, posted another. I was just stuck at the fact that he posted another girl. Because remember, what social media does to you is it creates a sense of va uh, uh, um, validation. This guy validated my emotions and my self esteem to a certain extent that I was like, the public knows that I am dating Jacob. Everybody knows I'm dating Jacob because Jacob posts me every day or every Wednesday on his socials so how can another girl come approach my man when my picture is on his so like that validation at that time and surprisingly i think it still happens to most people they feel validated when they see their men posting them because i don't even know but yeah they just feel like yeah my man uh, obviously he's not doing anything because he posts me on his socials so I was, I was confused. And imagine, I wasn't even a social media person, so I don't even understand why I was mad. But I called Jacob and I'm like, how dare you? How dare you? How dare you post another girl? And he's like, oh, baby, it's my cousin. Huh? It's my cousin's birthday today, a day before my birthday. And it wasn't even happy birthday. It was uh, just S slash O. And mind you, my pictures were still down there. And he's like, no, it's my cousin. And they, how can I post another girl when your pictures are there all over the place? Why would I? Why would I do that? Me being the fool that I am, Winnie the Pooh, I said, oh, it's true, it's your cousin. Then I let it go. Minutes later, I get another phone call from Anna. Hello, Ferende Wang. Did you not see what they posted? I said, ah, I know what is it. It's his then he's like and then Anna's like his cousin his cousin and the question called significant other i said significant other and he's like yeah you don't know what s slash o means i said oh my god i called jacob i told him jake you know what i feel like i don't want to be in this relationship anymore because the disrespect of you actually posting another girl claiming to be your cousin and yet you're captioning it's significant other is another type of disrespect and i just feel like i'm not about i'm not about to entertain that disrespect you know what this guy said okay did she want to go go did she want to leave leave did she want to pass away pass he literally did not stop me from going he literally did not fight for me he did not fight for me. Seconds later, he removed all my pictures from his social media. And that picture was the only one there. But it's fine. So I figured we had broken up. And at this point, the, the next day is my birthday. And I was heartbroken. And it, it was that time where, you guys know when you used to go through breakups and you play like a love song? And it was, Hello from the other side. walked me through my breakup guys like i was i was listening to that song constantly because i was heartbroken because how dare this guy leave me like this he's not even fighting for me it might not a battle sharp the next day is my birthday oh happy birthday happy birthday but i'm going through a breakup so it's not the same birthday i always like celebrate so because obviously this time i've lost the love of my life um I've lost the love of my life and the love of my life didn't want to fight for me because I guess he was pursuing his new thing or his thing. Now, on my birthday, I get a phone call from Blazer. Now, every my circle doesn't really know that I've broken up with the guy because, guys, this just happened hours before my birthday, right? Uh, on my birthday, I get a call from Blazer. Um, no, look at me. I'm in my room. Okay, cool. I'm coming. She comes and it's a box wrapped it was a black box wrapped with the pink bow and she's like yeah it's a gift i'm like oh friend thank you so much and she's like no it's from jacob so i'm like ah. jacob Bavari. and she's like yeah um he sent me money and he made me go buy like this little cute stuff for you i don't know what and the highlight of the gift was a temple watch and guys everybody at the time as a student knew kucha this watch like this 
was not something you could afford as a student unless you got your refund and you want to go buy yourself a temple watch but you as your pocket money like this in your there's no way you can afford a temple watch so it was a temple watch i remember it was even gold um you know and like little cute other gifts and i was like oh my god he's so lovely guys he was just playing hard to get so um we we had officially broken up but the gift confused everything so it was a thing of like we would still chat or he'd be like oh i'm coming to vendor and i'll be like oh okay or oh, can i come see you that type of vibe so in my head we're still in a relationship so um a month after my birthday he comes to vendor as he's in vendor let me take a sip as he's in vendor um he comes to visit he comes i think he arrived and he just came straight to the hostel at this point guys we're dating for maybe like we're going on like a year we're going on i think we're finishing the year getting into you know a second year like a degree but we chose men anyways um as we're getting into the second year he he comes to my place and the woman crush rubbish has stopped he has i think he also became smart at the fact that um he can't keep posting women because that's where he's getting caught he's getting caught off his social media shop he comes to my room and you know hey baby hey 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 and his phone rings right and remember that girl significant other her name is butterfly so i knew kucha this girl's name is butterfly because unfortunately butterfly went to go comment on her post and said thank you my baby me i want to go follow her so that i can stalk the gee anyways butterfly his name is most butterfly so his phone was um facing like so on the table and we were talking 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 and then a phone his phone rings and butterfly is calling but butterfly is accompanied with a heart shaped emoji then i said oh tamozang and then and he's like hey she's calling and i'm like uh yeah she's calling so what's going to happen and he's like yeah i'm not going to pick up i'm not going to pick up and then i take the phone phew, put it on speaker and butterfly is like baby why would you come to vendor and not come see me is it because you went to that baby girl so this girl knows that i'm a threat in their relationship and clearly this guy is in a relationship with a butterfly that's why he's fly fly butterfly oh what shop then i said then, then he's like yeah uh, i'll call you back then he hangs up then i asked this guy so this whole time i'm thinking we are together you are playing with me and he's like no why would you think i'm playing with you if i was playing with you i would have answered that phone call if i was playing with you i would have went to her first men trust them to be rubbish for free guys rubbish for free sharp and then he's like yeah uh, plus i came so we go to the showgrounds then we go to the showgrounds i get rid because obviously he validated my feelings by saying if he was dating butterfly he would have went to butterfly first but he came to me first so meaning me i am more important than butterfly i'm important test get in the car we drive to showgrounds and you know and every guys everybody on social media knew that jacob and i were a thing so when people were seeing us in public, they're like, oh my God, you guys are together. Oh my God, it's nice to see you guys. Ah, 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 ah. Now, let me describe the setting of what is happening or about to happen right now. Uh, I'm, with, I'm, with, I'm with Jacob Andishi and I have a cousin of mine. So this cousin is, you know, I think everybody has that cousin that if I get into an argument with someone, my cousin will fight that someone. She, she doesn't even need to know what's happening. She will come fight someone because she just feels like, why are you being aggressive towards my cousin? Like, w w w why are you even speaking so loudly? I had that cousin. So that cousin was also there chilling with her own people. Now that cousin knew Kucha. Jacob was trash. She knew from the day I said, I am in a relationship with Yakobo. So she was, she didn't understand because I told them was that we had broken up. But then, jiggy jiggy, I'm here with Jacob. And Jiggy Jiggy, Butterfly is in the other corner. So she's like, ah, does this girl know Kucha? Sharp. So she comes to me. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jacob. And he's like, hi. And 
he never liked my cousin because he always knew Kucha, his cousin knew his rubbish i i think like when men know that people can read them they automatically hate that person and always uh, tell you Kucha, yeah that cousin of yours is jealous of you she doesn't like you she doesn't like us she's what she's what she's what sharp so we're chilling we're holding hands there was even a kabooth that had flowers this guy went to go buy me a rose chuta. me and my flower is even plastic <laughs> he got me a flower like he got me a rose and then we went to like another stand and we're just guys it was so cute then he would kiss my forehead and he kissed my cheek it was just that romantic movie stuff after a while Cousin comes to me and says, pulls me aside and says, Cuz, do you know that Jacob's butterfly is also in the surrounding? And I'm like, and so? Because I'm, I'm also with, maybe then she'll know which I'm with my boy. And she's like, hmm. And with how it looks, it seems like she's seeing you guys and she's organizing a, a confrontationality group to come confront you guys because she could read she could read the energy and honestly butterfly was getting her girls to come confront us me and jacob and me and my man then i said yeah eh, i said well she would come if she has strength she must come i go back to my boy and now as i'm with my boy boy uh, uh um uh, white comes jacob's friend and he's like oh hi a grape uh, uh um oh you look gorgeous and then just you know being a flirt uh as i'm standing i see some dodgy looking guy so now uh white is also not more trying to understand the fact that oh maramigas you and butterfly are dating and butterfly is here but you are here with grape and you know that girls from hot fontaine they don't playing because uh, a grape was also from hot fontaine and i'm like because the energy is very so i think white was trying to pull me away from 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 jacob so it looks like i'm with uh, i'm with white but butterfly already knows that that i just realized i realized that ah this is an accident i mentioned my client's name but i'm going to i'm going to mute that area I want to mute that area. Butterfly knows that me, great, I'm a threat most. And she knows that I'm, a, I'm, I don't know. I think she was also having her suspicions around me and Jacob. So White is trying to save the situation. But Jacob is not for standing because he does not know that Butterfly is in the building. Sharp. Minutes go by. Some dog guys, ne? I don't know if you've ever seen a guy with like cuts on his on his wrist in his face like cuts comes to me pulls me by the hand and says in Afrikaans let's go Jacob is scared of this guy white is also scared of this guy me I'm also scared of this guy and he gra he grabbed me and said let's go and then I'm like where are we where are we going and he says come on so I'm going most and then my cousin says no he's with me so I've, I've now checked that coach, ah, cousin just got this scary looking guy so that Jacob can, so that Jacob can leave me so I can go and avoid whatever drama was coming. So he pulls me away and we go like to the taxi rink. But just as I got to the taxi rink, uh, a butterfly them were approaching Jacob when they, they came with bottles. But I say, literally the same thing that happened the whole of thing was repeating itself with different girls different characters came to look for me because of the men i'm not even married to today yeah where is she where is she where the is she where the is she where the is she and then he's like yeah why are you dramatic come let's go jacob pulled his girl went to a corner bella went to go tell her that yeah that great girl is uh, suicidal she was gonna kill herself because she was gonna all of a sudden cousin calls me and says guess who's with your man butterfly and your man he went to go buy her roses he bought you a rose he went to go buy her roses <laughs> so
So I don't know what you want to do with that information, but do with that information what you must. So at that point, I'm also at the text setting. And I know for a fact, I'm not about to go back in there and get my ass worked. So minutes later, a uh, white comes out and he's like, yeah, uh, uh, why would you pull the girl like that? Now trying to fight um, this guy. And then I'm like, no, 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 it's fine. It's my cousin. What, 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 what. And the guy asks, are you okay? Should I leave you with this guy? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, sure. Leave. You can leave me with this guy. So this guy puts me in his car and he drives me back to campus. And as he's driving me back to campus, I am bawling out, guys. I am crying because the wrong guy came to me. I was expecting Jacob to follow me and come save me because he doesn't even know who this guy is. But Jacob went back to his went back to his real girlfriend. And I cried. And White was like, yeah, I told you. I told you that that guy didn't love you. I told you he was wasting his time, your time. I told you he had someone else. And that's not the only girl he had. Guys, I collided. And I went to campus and... White was like, yeah, um, you know, I'm not forcing you to get into anything, but think about the proposal I gave you. I feel like I can make you so much happier. And plus, I'm a faithful guy. I'm a I wasn't even listening because my the love of my life is someone else's love of their life, guys. So I went into the hostel room and I cried. Like, I cried like I lost someone. I cried like, like Jacob died. That's how much I cried, guys. I was so heartbroken. I was so heartbroken. My heart was broken. And Jacob never really um, came back to ask me back. So how I deal with breakups is I play a love song. I take everything that you got me, all the t-shirts he got me, all the jerseys he left and, and the jerseys I took from him. I cut them into pieces. I cut them and I throw them away. That's how I like get rid of people. And I've realized that that has worked for me even, like for the future because right now i don't go back to people like if i tell you right now that i'm leaving you i don't care how many amounts of roses you're gonna buy for me i will not come back i will not come back and once i cut you out by cutting your clothes by cutting your things i've cut you out completely so I did that and he would always use like his jerseys as an excuse. Yeah, I want to come get my jersey. And then eventually I get, I get the strength to block him. And guys, when I tell you I haven't seen this guy for so long, I think the last time I saw him was maybe like three, four years later. And there were no emotions and he was still a rubbish. He, I'm even surprised he never had a lot of kids actually. I'm actually surprised he never had a lot of kids. But this is the end of the story that you guys have been harassing me about. I hope. <laughs> I hope that's done. And um, yeah, guys, I need more story times. Let me let me explain. I think I think we need a guy's uh story. I think we need a guy. Guy, if, if there's a savage, that's a guy that's been cheated on and that's gone through you know crazy stuff with women i feel like it would be nice to share your story as well so women also know that there are other women that are trash even if we kind of know that um yeah <laughs> it will be nice to know so uh if you have a story time that you'd like me to tell please dm me on instagram my handles are right up here guys like you know where to find me it's not like you don't know how, where to find me you know where to find me so please dm me maybe your story is interesting if it is interesting i definitely will um make a story time i always feel like you never know who you're helping you never know who is finding strength through your story to leave a situation that they feel is toxic um yeah so if you even want me to interview you about something you feel other people can share that i think is interesting or worth sharing please do dm the girl I've come to the end of the video. I hope you guys really liked it. I'll see you guys in another video. Um, yeah, bye.